Hi, my name is Maddie Lemire. I'm a senior here at Western New England. I am a management and leadership major. I have two minors, one's in human resource management and the other is in enterprise resource planning with SAP. Here on campus, I am actively involved in women's lacrosse and I'm part of our student athlete advisory committee. Hi, my name is Ali Buzio. I am a junior arts and entertainment management major from Stanford, Connecticut. I'm a part of the women's softball team here and I'm also on the student ambassador team. So right now we're in the Alumni Healthful Living Center. So this is kind of like our gym here on campus. We do tend to refer to it as the HLC. And the HLC is open to alumni, faculty, staff, and students. So if you follow us, we'll get started. So right now we're in our fitness room here on campus. So all the equipment in this room is on a three year rotation. So every three years we do get new equipment. So you never have to worry about it being out of date or like not the latest equipment. We're gonna go check out the uh, athletic coaches offices as well as our pool here in the HLC. Okay, so directly behind us we have all of our offices for our athletic coaches here on campus. Um, this is where you can go if you need to get in talk with um, coach about recruiting or walking on. We have over 20 division three sports here on campus um, so this is where you will find all of your resources if you're looking to be a student athlete on campus and then directly next door we have our swimming pool it is open as long as there's a lifeguard on duty students are more than welcome to jump in the pool um, it is home to our women's swimming team as well and we also host several of our intramural sports in there um, in addition so breaking off with intramurals behind us we have our wall of champions so we do host a variety of intramurals here on campus, anything from inner tube water polo to basketball to soccer, which is out on the turf. So intramurals are kind of like a big deal here. Everyone likes to be involved in them. You do get a free t-shirt if you win, and everyone's out to get that t-shirt and those bragging rights. Um, the t-shirts do kind of change their design frequently, so it's always like you know who's up to date on like the intramural champions and who's like, ah, you were an intramural champion a long time ago. So I definitely suggest getting into intramurals because everyone loves it and it's like not that much of a commitment and it's just a fun time to have with your friends. So down this hallway, we do have our men's and women's varsity locker rooms. We also do have an equipment room. So if you ever wanna like check out a basketball or a racket, ball court, racket, you can head there. Um, we also do offer our free weight room and our varsity weight room. So um, we have a varsity weight room for the purpose of athletes coming in. We don't want our whole football team coming in and taking all the equipment from people who are trying to work out during like their only free time in the day. So that is the purpose of the varsity weight room. And we also do hold our athletic training offices down there. So this is the main field house uh, here on campus. The gym is currently set up because we just hosted the um, NCAA tournament for our women's basketball team. They got an at-large bid to compete for a national championship, which is awesome. Um, all of our sports teams here on campus have been highly, highly successful over the past three years that I've been here and for as long as we can remember. Um, so currently we're standing on the hardwood floor, which is home to our men's, women's basketball team as well as our volleyball team. And then behind the divider, we also have our synthetic rubber floor, which is where our uh, baseball and softball team practices as well. And on the off chance that lacrosse has to be inside, they'll also be back there. Um, up ahead of us or above us, we have our red rim track. So seven laps on up here is a mile. And including all of our athletic events that go on here, we do also host a variety of other co-curricular and student activities in this building as well. So we have spring event, um, it's just a chance for student activities to bring in a famous artist. They kind of transform this entire athletic arena into a concert venue, which is really awesome. In the past, we've had T-Pain, uh, Dan and Shay, and a lot of the students always come out. There's an awesome turnout. Um, as well, we have our annual casino gala here at the beginning of every semester. So there's always a ton going on in this space, whether you're a sports fan or not. You will always end up in this room, whether you love sports or not. So definitely get used to it and know where it is. Um, we're gonna head out, we're gonna see our racquetball courts and then look at our aerobics room. Okay. 
So we do have a hallway to our right. That is where our racquetball and squash courts are. So if you're ever interested in one of those, you can check out equipment from the equipment room that I mentioned earlier. Also behind us is our functional training room. So this room became a lot more popular when CrossFit became popular. And they do have a lot of equipment in here like TRX bands, kettlebells, yoga balls, anything you can really think of that relates to CrossFit will be in there. But it's also just a room that people do like to do like ab workouts or just like other, other types of body, work body weight workouts in. So you don't necessarily have to be crazy about CrossFit to use it. And then to the left of that is our aerobics room. So we do hold a lot of different types of classes here. We have spin classes, yoga classes. Um, I know we do offer a self-defense course, but um, a lot of our classes are like peer taught. So if you have like a yoga or a Zumba class, it might be taught by one of your peers, but our self-defense class is taught by a professional. So now that we made it outside, behind us is our Volvo outdoor tennis courts here on campus. So our men's and women's varsity tennis teams will practice here. And we also do offer a tennis course here on campus as a gym class. So if you take that, you might find yourself out here on these courts. And then as we move over here, we have Super Knot Field, which is home to our men's and women's soccer team. Um, they will practice here and then play all throughout the fall. So you might catch yourself here uh, during their season and we'll probably definitely see you at a game sometime. And now we're going to make our way over to Golden Bear Stadium. So now we're here on Golden Bear Stadium. So this is our turf field here on campus. It is Astro Play turf. And then we do have stadium lights because sometimes games run after the sun goes down. And we do also offer intramurals that may go after the sun goes down as well. So the lights are a huge help because it offers light on our field. Um, in the fall, we do have football and field hockey practicing, on, practicing and playing on this turf. And then in the spring, we have men's and women's lacrosse. Um, being a women's lacrosse player, I spend a majority of my time on this field and I absolutely love it. I wouldn't want a grass field or anything different of the sorts, I guess. Being a lacrosse player, it's definitely nice. And then I know that I can also vouch for football and field hockey players that feel the same. So behind us is the Flynn Family Golden Bear Pavilion. So these are locker rooms for our eight um, outdoor sports. And we also do have a concession stand in here and public restrooms. So now we're gonna ch go check out our baseball field on campus. All right, so we're currently standing in Trulis Memorial Park, which is home to our baseball team on campus. One of my favorite parts about being a student athlete on campus actually is that all of the spring athletes get to travel down south for spring training. All right, so directly behind us, this is actually uh, my second home. This is our main softball complex here on, uh, on campus. In 2018, the softball team actually won the conference and competed for a national championship. So that was really exciting for me as a freshman and definitely one of my highlights and memories here on campus.